I've spent about two hours playing Vigor, and I can confidently say that I have absolutely no idea what is going on in this game. And that's not particularly a bad thing. I mean, when I got the game, I literally only downloaded it because Xbox Game Pass likes to have these random deals where you'll get free in-game rewards for certain games, and Vigor just so happened to be one of them. I didn't have any idea what the game was, I saw the description, and I said, okay, I'll download this, I'll give it a shot, maybe I'll end up enjoying it. And it's quite an enjoyable game, to be completely honest with you, though I'm still very lost as to what I'm doing or the purpose of really anything here. So what is Vigor? Well, Vigor can kind of be broken down into a few different things. It's basically a looter shooter. When you play in what is an incursion, uh, you are kind of put into this open world with you and like 10 or 11 other people, and your goal is to either kill the others or grab what you want and get out. You could also technically consider it a battle royale, considering if you die, you are dead, and you're dead until the end of the game, or until you back out and start a new game, really. And anything you bring with you can be taken, aside from the fact if you pay some of the premium currency in order to keep your supplies that you brought with you. Now I myself haven't spent any actual real world money on the game, nor do I really plan to, but I think the idea of going into the, this battle royale type scenario, bringing whatever weapons you want, whatever equipment you want, and the fact that if you die, that stuff is gone forever is really cool. Like Call of Duty, when you have weapons, you keep them. They're unlocked forever. In Vigor, you have a set amount of weapons. You can craft new ones, you can find new ones, but if you die with that weapon, if you did not purchase the insurance, you can lose that weapon if you die. What my confusion about Vigor is, is I seriously have no idea what the point of the game is. I mean, of course, your goal is to survive out in the world in the wilderness and kill other people in encounters if you come across them you have a couple different ways of playing the game you can either go around try to go guns a blazing and hunt everybody down or you can go in gather what is needed and go back to your safe house so you do have a couple different avenues you can go into vigor in an encounter with no weapons nothing at all you can go in there literally with a blank slate and find whatever you need along the way. Potentially you'll find a weapon, you'll find some supplies. If you grabbed what you needed, you can exit the map and great, you kept everything. If you bring in some really powerful weapons, well I hope your aim and whatnot is good enough because if an enemy finds you and kills you, if you didn't buy the insurance, you're losing those items. And by I don't understand this game, I mean I seriously don't know what's going on. Like what is the story here? I, I don't know, it's like kind of post-apocalyptic, you know, you're scavenging for supplies, doing your own thing, but what's the end goal here? Uh, I feel like the end goal mainly is to stockpile all the resources you can, upgrade your base as much as possible, and that's pretty much it. That's really what it feels like. I mean, the gunplay is a lot more different than, say, Call of Duty, where Call of Duty is super predictable, easy to control. Weapons in this game feel a little bit more realistic. They have a little bit more oomph to them. They, they hit a little bit harder. They kick a little bit harder, too. So... It's a more tactical experience, really. And there's so many things in the game that I still have no idea what they do. I literally didn't find out what the phones did in this game until uh, about a day ago when I actually looked it up. And I was like, what do these phones do? Because they'll ring and I'll click them. And I literally had no clue. It marks you on the map. You're basically accepting a 1v1 against somebody in the game. I also had no idea for a little while that you could actually aim down to the iron sights of the weapon, which is probably why I died in my first encounter, which is also what I'm going to blame that on. If you click the right stick, at least on Xbox, you go ADS like fully iron sights and everything. I literally had no idea how to do that. I had no idea how to equip other weapons because you can have a total of four weapons or how to get to your um, inventory to like swap out what consumables you're using. The game does not hold your hand uh, aside from the tutorial unless you go and look it up. Uh, I'm also an idiot. So uh, the game uh, does not hold your hand in terms of how to play it or what to do. There's the brief tutorial and then they, they throw you into it. I think there's just a lot of cool mechanics in Vigor here, and I think it's a totally great game. 
I've been playing it a little bit more recently after my initial two hours, which is where I got my thoughts for this video, and I've been having a ton of fun with it. Do I understand what I'm doing? Not particularly. I'm loading into an encounter. I'm grabbing what I can. If I come across somebody, I will kill them if I think I can kill them confidently, and I'm getting out and hopefully not dying along the way. Stay out in an encounter too long, you're going to encounter the radiation, which is basically the storm circle or just whatever's collapsing in on you, making you actually move and get out of the map, survive, or kill. So there's no real way to actually win in Vigor. If you kill absolutely everybody, you technically didn't win, because if you don't exfil in time, you can still die and lose all of your stuff. You don't have to kill anybody in order to win either, because there really isn't a winner. There's just losers in Vigor. You win by surviving, getting out with whatever you've grabbed resource-wise, and making it back to your home base to build whatever upgrades you need. You lose by dying, and losing whatever you had on you if you didn't buy insurance. The game is just a ton of fun to play, honestly. There's a variety of maps, a couple different game modes, though I myself have been having just a ton of fun playing the traditional encounters. And it's just a lot of fun to play here. Honestly, I'm not that good at the gunfight portion of this. Uh, I feel pretty confident if I'm using a sniper, because snipers are pretty much a one-hit kill to the head. I feel confident that if I'm at a range, I could probably pick you off, but if I'm using any other regular bullet weapon, I'm going to have a little bit of a hard time. I'm getting better now, but there's definitely people with much better weapons and much better way to handle them. Honestly, Vigor, I think, is a great time, and I think, though it's been out for a couple years, I think it's worth trying, to be honest with you. I think you could have a ton of fun with it, whether you're playing solo or you're playing with squads, because this game has capability for both. If you're not just straight up into Call of Duty-like PvP modes where you're running around just killing everything, this might be something for you, something that requires a little bit more thought into your gameplay. Let me know what you guys think about Vigor in the comments down below. Have you played it yourself? Are you going to check it out? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates!